Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 1 under the topic polar plot. So the problem is the open loop transfer function of a unity feedback system is given by this expression. Sketch the polar plot and determine the gain and phase margin. So the first step is we have to substitute S yes, as j omega. So when you substitute in this expression, this expression gets modified as 1 by j omega, 1 plus j omega into 1 plus 2j omega. As usual, we need to calculate a magnitude expression and a phase angle expression. So the calculating magnitude expression is, you see here, we have to take like omega that is square root of this term and you have to square the inner term also. That is omega is j omega should be written as square root of omega square and again this uh, square root and this square cancels each other and finally we will be having omega c. Right. So the next thing is square root of real term plus sorry square root of squaring of real term plus squaring of imaginary term. So square root of 1, 1 square is again 1 and omega when you square it becomes omega square. Similarly 1 square becomes 1 and 2 omega we have to square. The entire thing should be come under a square root. Right. And then remaining things are again 1 by omega root of 1 plus omega square and square root of 1 plus 2 omega whole square is nothing but 4 omega square. Right. Here, these, the, these two things are under the square root. Right. So, now I am going to combine these two things. So, when you combine, you see here, we can write it as this omega here as such and square root of these two terms. Hence, the square root is common in both the terms. I am making it as common. Right. The next step is we have to multiply these two terms. So, when you multiply as usual, here first I am multiplying this entire expression with this one here. So 1 into 1 plus omega square is again 1 plus omega square plus one, again this 4 omega square into 1, 4 omega square and 4 omega square into omega square gives you 4 omega to the power 4, right. And the next thing is here we are having these two terms with the same omega square. You see here omega square and 4 omega square. So, when you add these two terms, finally we are getting the answer as phi omega square. So, this is our final expression for our magnitude. Next, we are going to find the expression for our phase plot. So, this is the given expression. Just we have modified S, yes, we have replaced S yes with J omega, that's it. So, calculating the angle as we all know, the basic formula tan inverse of imaginary term divided by real term. So here simply we are having an omega. As we all know an omega contributes an angle of 90 degree. Since this term lies in denominator I am shifting this term to the numerator. So here minus 90. As usual here tan inverse of imaginary term coefficient is omega. Real term is 1. So tan inverse of omega by 1. Again this is in denominator. I am moving this to the numerator. So minus. Similarly for this last term. So tan inverse of 2 omega divided by 1. Again I am moving it to the numerator part. So minus sign here. So our simplified expression is like this. Minus 90 minus tan inverse of omega minus tan inverse of 2 omega. Right. The next thing is we are going to find corner frequencies. As usual you see. Again, we are going to take the reciprocal of coefficient of S or coefficient of omega, right. So, here the coefficient of omega is 1, right. So, 1 by 1 will give you 1 radian per second. So, that is our second corner frequency and 1 by coefficient of this omega is 2 here. So, 1 by 2 gives you 0.5 radian per second. Again, we have to name the corner frequencies based upon the ascending order. That is the least number should be given number 1 and the next highest should be given as number 2. So, here the least one is 0.5. So, number 1. Omega C1 is this. And the next highest term is 1. So, this is our omega C2. Right. And the next step is we are going to form a table which includes both magnitude and phase angle. Right. In body plot, we had drawn two different tables, but here we are combining it in a single table. So, again, 
take select a huge range of omega values and this omega value should compulsorily include your corner frequencies 0.5 and 0.1 you see here I am having 0.1 sorry 0.5 as well as 1 we have to include these two corner frequencies apart from that you can select in between values that is values between 0.5 and 0.1 and some lesser values also even some higher values also that is greater than 1 like 1.2 1.4 like that right so here we have selected the values of omega now we are going to substitute these values of omega in the respective expressions that is what is the expression for our magnitude it is so this is our expression for magnitude right here in this expression you have to substitute the values of omega which we had selected in the table for example the first value of omega is 0.35 so here in the place of omega you have to substitute 0.35 and by using a calculator you have to find out the final value that's it right so here as I just now have told right, you have substituted 0.35 in the magnitude expression and the answer is 2.2. Similarly, for calculating the phase angle, so this is my expression for calculating the phase angle, right. Again now just substitute the values of omega over here and find out the answers. These calculations are very simple, just using a calculator you can do this. So finally, I had formed a table like this, which includes both, you see, magnitude is as well as phase angle. Right. Now we are going to mark these things on a polar sheet. So this is my polar sheet. Right. So you, you should always keep your polar sheet in such a way that, you see, your right hand side should always have 0 degree. Right. And your left hand side will be having 2 180 degrees. One a bigger number and another one in smaller size right so this is the right way to keep your polar sheet so after keeping your polar sheet it is clear right you see here we are having numbers displayed all around right so here the numbers you see 0 degree 10 degree 20 degree 30 degree these are considered to be positive angles and below that we are having numbers in smaller size you see 350 degree 340 330 and these angles are said to be negative angles right the numbers in bigger size are positive angles and the numbers in smaller size are negative angles right hope you people understand then the next thing is we have to give number to our circles right so here i had started you see i had considered this circle as my point 0.5 whose value is 0.5 and this circle has 1 and this circle has 1.5 and this has 2 and this has 2.5 right let me zoom and show you right hope now it is very clear to you right this is my 0.5 1 1.5 2 2.5 now you may ask how to name the circles like this that is how to select the scales like this this mainly depends upon the values of our frequencies how we are selecting rather than that it is always mandatory to have a unity circle that is a circle with value 1 is must in case of your polar sheet right after selecting the scale you should always highlight this unity circle now I had just highlighted my unity circle and the next thing is we have to mark the points which we had obtained in our table 1. So here our first point is 2.2 with an angle minus 144. So this is my 2. Now I have to find 2.2. So here 2 means this is my 2.1 and this is my 2.2 right. So at this 2.2, the value of this phase angle is minus 144, right? So just you move the graph gradually, find out where is your 140. So this is my 140 and this is my 150. So between these two lines lies my 144, right? So here again, when you look carefully, this is 141, 142, 143 and this is my 144 line, right? So you see this is my 2.2 line just you move gradually and here this is my 144 line so this is my first point okay keep a dot dot over here right similarly the next thing is 
the magnitude is 1.8 the angle is 150 so 1.8 so this is my 1.5 right so 1.6 1.7 and this is my 1.8 so when you move gradually over this line you see this is my 150 right so here lies my second point right similarly 1.5 the angle is minus 156 so this is my 1.5 line right and this is my 150 and 160 so i have to find 156 so this is my 156 so at, a, at the magnitude of 1.5 the value is 156 right similarly at 1.2 162 so this is my 1 right so this is my 1.1 and this is my 1.2 circle uh, so at 1.2 what is the value it is 162 so here this is my 160 so at second line i am mentioning that is my 162 and again 0.9 171 so where is my 0.9 this is 1 right so this is my 0.9 line so at 0.9 the value is 171 so here is my 170 so at 0.9 the value is 171 right and again 0 0.7 180 so 0 0.5 0 0.6 this is my 0 0.7 and this is my 180 so i am having a keeping a dot here and finally 0 0.3 198 so this is 0 0.5 so this is 0 0.4 and this is 0 0.3 so at point 0.3 what is the value it is minus 198 so you see this is 190 and this is 200 it will be lying somewhere over here right so when you keep the line when you keep your pencil over the line and you move gradually inside you will be having a you can keep the dot like this because the number of lines gets reduced when you move towards your inner circle okay so just keep the dot over here so finally we had obtained the points for this plot now we have to join these dots right so you have to join these dots using a free scale so you see So finally, this is my polar plot for the given problem, right? So from this polar plot, I have to calculate the gain margin as well as phase margin. So how to calculate gain margin? Gain margin is nothing but we have to take the reciprocal of the magnitude where your polar plot cuts your 180 degree line. So you see, this is the exact point, right? Where our polar plot cuts your minus 180 degree line here. So, this is 0 0.5 means this is 0 0.6 and this is my 0 0.7. So, reciprocal of this value gives you the gain margin. So, it is nothing but 1 divided by 0 0.7 will give you a gain margin value. So, its value is found to be 1.4286. So, 1.4286. This is your gain margin. Right. And the next one is we are going to calculate the phase margin. So phase margin is nothing but you see our polar plot has cut the unity circle at some particular point right. Just find out the angle at this point. How to find the angle? Just take a scale and keep it over there and then it will be easy for you to find the angle here. So at this point I am having this intersection. This is my intersection point. So, when you keep over here, the angle is found to be, you see it is, this is my 170 line, right? And here, this is my 168 line. So, the angle is 168 degree. So, how to find the phase margin? Again, the phase margin is given by the formula. Phase margin is given by 180 degree plus pi gc again the same formula as your body plot so which is equal to 180 what is the value of the angle here just now we had find the value of the angle as 168 that is minus 168 right so 180 minus 168 will give you a phase angle of 12 degree sorry phase margin of 12 degree right 
so this is your gain margin and this is your face margin finally the problem gets over here hope you people understand the concept well if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you